Hey, this is Tyler 4K Clement, and today I want to be showing you how to measure points, lines, and control points. So the first thing that we're going to do is tap survey, go to measure points, and we're going to go to topo shot. Basically, this is just going to, if you need to like mark something where something's at or anything like that, then you can use this method right here. So point number is, we're just going to do one right here. Then for point description, you can put a description as if, if you want. I'm just going to do test. Then if you want to add it to a certain layer, you can do that as well. Then you're going to put your pull height in and measure it to base right here. Then tap OK. Now it's going to automatically measure this shot in. So if we move here. As you can see, there's going to be a little white dot right here, which this is going to be the uh, first topo shot that we shot. Then if we go to measure points and options right here, you can actually change your seconds, how long it's measuring it. So we can do one second if we want, and it's just going to measure it for one second. Then also you can change your control points right here, which we're just going to, we're going to change to one second for control. I recommend doing like 60 to 90 seconds when you're measuring it in but we're just gonna tap okay right here. Then the next thing we're gonna shoot is we're gonna do a topo shot with offset. So tap that. And basically you can name it whatever you want. Uh, we're just gonna have it as two, then point description, we're just gonna have it on test, then layers, we're just gonna have it on points. Then offset, if you want, you can do like any offset you want and you can do above or below, whatever you wanna do if you don't wanna, uh, do an offset, you can just select zero. We're just gonna do a two foot offset. I'm gonna tap okay, it's gonna measure it in. Then we're gonna move forward here. Now we're gonna to go to measure points. Then quick codes is actually pretty sweet. So if we select it and tap add, we can just call this points. Tap okay. And if we want, we can just add a, add a point description. By the way, this you don't have to do a point description just if you want to. Then if we go to points right here, we can add it to this layer. Then if you want to create a polyline on each shot, then you can select that, which I'll be showing you here in a second. I'm just going to tap OK. Oh, also, you can create shortcut on screen, which it's super handy to have. So if we tap OK, then OK, in this top right right here, where it's going to be named points. So every time we select that, it's gonna shoot a point, so we don't have to go to survey and uh, measure points and topo shot every time. Another thing you can do is if we go to quick codes and do add, then we can call this lines, tap okay, just put it under test. I'm just gonna put it under my lines layer. We can create a polyline. So we can tap okay, tap okay, and as you can see, if we tap lines right here, we're gonna select that. Then once we move over to, let's say just right over here and tap lines again, it's basically just gonna start making shooting lines wherever we are. So this is a pretty handy way to shoot lines and all that. Then yeah, basically that the, up here, these are pretty handy to have up here. Then if we go to measure points there we could measure in a control point so let's move over here and also if you don't want to if you're done using these and you don't want to see them anymore or anything like that then you can just uh go to quick codes then you can just press edit create shortcut on screen you don't have to have the shortcuts but the shortcuts are really nice to have then if we want to measure a control point in, what we do is tap survey, measure points, go over to control point right here. We can just call it CP, just 10. Then we could just, if you want to put it under like a control description or anything you can, then we just tap start. Now it's going to just measure in this control point. We're going to tap okay. Now there is CP 10. And when you're measuring these, I recommend measuring in control points for, yeah, 60 to 90, like I said before. Just because control points, you want to make them as accurate as you possibly can, especially if you're shooting off of them or anything. 
Topo shots, they don't matter as, as much, which they're just going to get shot in. They're going to be accurate no matter what. But I just like to make sure on the control points. So what we can do now is, ref so now there's reference line right here. So if we zoom out right here, go over to the crosshairs right here, we can select this line. And what we can do is hold down on the line right here with your finger, then go to line work right here. And we have to select this as, we have to select use as reference line. So we're gonna select that, go to survey, measure points, reference line. That's the only way you're gonna be able to use reference line. You can't just select it and tap reference line. You have to hold it down and then select the option just like I'm doing here. So say I wanted to make like a point off the start of this line, then what I can do is like do a distance of like four feet, let's say. Then if I wanna do like a two foot offset, I can do that as well. We're gonna do a distance of actually 10 feet. Then what we can do is just tap save right here. Then if we wanna do like an offset, a zero offset, and that's fine too. And we can just tap okay, it's gonna make a point. Then I'm gonna press cancel right here. As you can see, let me go over to the hand right here. It made a two foot offset from this line, 10 feet down. And then I did a zero offset and it made a point 10 feet down on this line. You can use that if you want to. Uh, I haven't really had to use this much. I don't really recommend using it. There's better ways to do it. But yeah, if you wanna use that way, you totally can. Then what we can do now is go on the next mode. So we can go to measure points and this is how we create, you could create lines. So we can tap on this, then we can add to layer. We're just gonna add to lines, tap okay. Now, wherever we sit at, it's gonna start making a line. So now wherever we go, the line's gonna follow us, which I'm just gonna stop right here, measure points. Then I can do next polyline point, which is gonna measure it. Okay. Now, if I want to go to options here, you can uh, change up the seconds and everything. Then if we want to do like, say we want to do a curve, we can tap this, then it's going to make a curve. Then we can go back here. And we can change that to, uh, to a straight line if we don't want to do a curve. Now, if you want to close your polyline, you can tap this and now it's just going to close it from where you started. So that's basically, if you if you wanna measure in a line, then you can do that as well. So we're gonna actually do back over here real quick. So the last thing that I'm gonna show you here is the start tape dimension. And if we tap on that, we can select like 0.1, let's say to 0.2, then we can tap okay right here. Then it's gonna zoom far out. What you can do is just tap this. Every time you tap this uh, gray little sign right here, it's gonna bring you to your job, just in case it zooms super far out. And this is point one, this is point two. Now what we're gonna do is tap tape dimensions. Then I'm gonna do uh, advanced. And say I wanna do like, uh, I wanna go right three feet, I wanna make a point that's right three feet to the end point that I have right there that's selected, then I wanna do like an offset of three feet. Then I tap, then if I wanna, if you wanna do like a vertical offset like above or below, then you can do that. And for right here, you can do what right, left, behind the head, whatever you wanna do. Then if we tap okay, it's gonna make this point right here. So then after we do that, wherever point, if we make another point, it's gonna go off this one. So I'll show you, I'll show you for example here. So let's go to measure point, tape dimensions, then advance. We can do distance, then we can do three, three, tap okay. And it's gonna go like that. So if we keep doing that, basically it's just gonna keep Just gonna keep going. So, bam, bam. 
we can move up. So now what we're going to do is tape dimensions. If you, you can also do like an angle as well, which 90 degrees in length, we can do like, we can do like 10 feet. Then we could just tap okay. Now it's going to make this point way over here. So you can either do when you're doing this for tape dimensions, you can do distances or angles, whatever you want to use. But yeah, that's, that's the last option that we're going to be doing here. Then I'm going to stop tape dimension, which if you want to stop doing that, that's what you can do. And yeah, that's how you shoot in points, lines, and control points. Thank you for watching.